this is David Brown from the Urban Tour Host in Miami, my local expert that's taking me on a driving tour of Miami today. Here we're in Wynwood right now. Uh -huh. Notice all the different uh, galleries coming up. There's yeah. Soho Studios right there. Uh -huh. I was there last night for an opening of uh, Art for a Better World and uh, many organizations like Water.org and Art for a Better World is doing fundraising for uh, Haiti, for Congo, yes. for Afghanistan, and especially the children. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very, this has become a very vibrant and colorful community with many art fairs that are about to open tomorrow mm -hmm. for Art Basel Miami. Uh, these are the satellite art fairs. The main art fair for Art Basel is on the Convention Center Miami Beach, uh -huh. but uh, here you're going to find many satellite fairs under huge tents. These these tents are air-conditioned, they're wow. catered, uh, they're charging $10, $20 admission to go in, uh -huh. and uh, they are really something, because each tent has about two to 300 galleries within the tent, and then those galleries represent, uh, you know, between one and ten artists themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here we are in Wynwood, and uh, this used to be just warehouses, to be honest with oh, you. Yeah? It was, here's one of our food trucks, food truck craze going through Miami. Oh yeah? We got, uh, you know, at least uh, 10, 15 food trucks on the ground now, and I heard there's another couple 20 in the pipeline. So and these are like uh, like a chip truck, basically, but different types of food? Yes, you get anything from dim sum to fish oh, tacos and Latin burgers. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I have to catch some yes, of those. Yes, yes, they're very much mirroring the multicultural uh, that's cuisine great. and gourmet of Miami. You're going straight now. We have that in Toronto, too, except the city of Toronto gave out the permits for like 35000 a year and it bankrupted these people. Oh, okay. So now they're trying to revitalize it. It sounds like you guys are doing better with that uh, street food program that, than we have. Here's a here's one of the big uh, art fairs here. Uh -huh. This is called uh, Art Asia. Um, notice the big tent and mm -hmm. you get all kinds of different murals. People finishing up now before Art Basel officially opens mm -hmm. tomorrow. Okay. Today is December 1st, as you know, 2010. And yeah. Art Basel officially opens tomorrow, December 2nd. It goes all the way through Sunday, which is December 5th. Here mm -hmm. we have Midtown Miami. This used to be uh, like a railroad yard, 60 oh, yeah? acres now uh, redeveloped into a beautiful shopping center here with uh, all kinds of name brands like uh, West Elm, Ross, Marshalls, mm -hmm. Target, uh, all kind of cohabit here. Mm -hmm. Cohabitate, I meant to say. <laughs> um, you were gonna tell me, like you, you run uh, kind of a little bit off the beaten track, kind of cultu cultural and multicultural tours of Miami. Oh yes. Now, how do people get around? Because the areas that you show them are mm -hmm, a bit mm -hmm. spread about. Of course, yes. Well, we we operate to really serve the the, the consumer um, to the desires and customization that they need. Okay. Everything that we do is customized. No tour is done the same way twice. Oh really? Um, we have sometimes private individuals that we serve in a Lincoln Town car with mm -hmm. a chauffeur, and at the more more commonly though we'll have a mini coach uh, up to th uh, 25 people, and then from 25 to 57, 61 mm -hmm. into a full uh, luxury motor coach. We uh, even though we we showcase the behind the scenes cultural communities of Miami, we do that in comfort. We we use mostly new motor coaches. We have partnerships with various different bus companies and transportation companies. So we like. We like to, sh to showcase uh, uh, the neighborhoods in style. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, people also get uh, get a lunch or dinner with us and really feel the you know the whole the real cultural yeah. you know the authentic aspect of mm -hmm. uh, of the cultural meal. And uh, we try to support, of course, all the local restaurants in the communities and showcase those in terms of the uh, cultural cuisine. Mm -hmm. Now you were telling me what you do really is community sustainable tourism. I'm not sure if I'm saying yes. that right. No, sustainable community-based tourism. This is okay, the other um, way around. Yes. Now, sustainable mm -hmm. meaning that it's in balance. You mm -hmm. know, people get thrown off with the definition of sustainable, but all that means is balance. Mm -hmm. And what that means in tourism is that the local community benefits financially. Right. Okay. So when we take people into the community, we encourage them to spend money. We encourage them to buy the local product, to uh -huh. buy local, to uh, encourage people to buy whatever level they feel comfortable in terms of arts and crafts mm -hmm. and of course you know food exactly now we're crossing over into what what's called the design district this uh -huh. area um, is, is the historically known as also Buena Vista but um, the design district is uh, developed a little bit before the Wynwood mm -hmm. and this has a lot of high-end designers um, that do in, you know interior decorating and a 
lot of high-end brands from all over the United the world now are coming mm -hmm. here to have the, the presence within this community because it's widely known that people coming to Art Basel come and shop here mm -hmm, and they come and look here and that a lot of things, uh, a lot of activities take place here. Great, excellent. What's the next neighborhood we're going to go into? Oh, we're transitioning straight into Little Haiti now. Perfect. Yeah. All right, let's come back from Little Haiti.